Hey everybody, this is Nabori with Gamers Fitness Group. Today we're going to do a high intensity circuit workout for you guys. It's a little taste of what's to come. We're going to have a little advanced videos coming later. Also more circuit videos for you as well. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know when my next video is going to be out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And feel free to ask any questions you have. Or if you want to see something in particular, let me know and I'll do what I can. Hope you guys enjoy. Today's circuit workout is going to be really easy on things that you need to use. You can do this all at home, so don't worry, you don't need a gym, you don't need any of that crazy stuff. You can have a weight if you have one ready available to you, or you can use a gallon jug, something of that nature, just so you get a little weight when you do your shoulder front raises and your side raises. Now as for your triceps, if you have a bench available to you, if not, you can simply use a chair at your home, so you can do all of this at your house. Also, everything else in this video will be available to you in your house, you just need a floor, and that's about it. First off, make sure you guys stretch or do 5 to 10 minutes of steady state cardio so you can get warmed up for this exercise so you don't pull anything or hurt yourself while we're doing this. Now if you're stretching, you can follow my lead here. And if you want to do some cardio, you can do your bike, you can walk, you can run, anything you like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have me doing the actual exercises and explain each and every one in the order that you should do it. First up we're gonna have high knees. Now to do this you're gonna start jogging in place. As the foot hits the ground you're gonna pull that up as the other foot is hitting the ground and keep doing that. We're gonna do this about for 10 seconds. Now you wanna keep your knees at a 90 degree angle or more each time and keep your chest up. Next is diamond push-ups. You get down in the push-up position thumbs touching and your pointer fingers touching go down do a push-up reach to the other side do a push-up and vice versa then we're gonna switch over to mountain climbers and do this stay in the push-up position pull your knees towards your chest one leg alternating to the other keep your back straight and head down there's also an alternate way to do this stay in the same position but instead of pulling your knee towards your chest I want you to keep one foot on the ground and pull the other one towards your elbow and vice versa. Squat jumps, you want your feet shoulder width apart, lower into a squat, knees behind your toes and jump with as much force as possible, pushing through your heels as much as you can. Back to the squat position and continue. Back lunges to step up, pull one leg back till it's almost touching the floor with your knee and 90 degrees with the front leg. Bring the leg that you brought back right up to the bench or chair, push yourself up with that leg, and repeat with the other leg. Tricep dips are next, palms facing down, hands on the sides of your hips. The further out your feet go, the harder this will be. As you come down, you want to get down to your upper arms are parallel with the floor. Push up through your palms, and you'll feel it in your triceps. Front raises and side raises, hands by your side. Raise your hand up in front of you, thumb up towards the sky, then arms back down, and raise to your side. Both of these you want your arms parallel and that will be the stopping point. For the side raise, you want your palm down towards the floor. Next up we have the workout in its entirety and I'll let you know exactly how many reps per exercise to do. Now I recommend that you do the circuit two to five times depending on how you feel while you do this workout. Also remember to take one to two minutes rest in between each cycle. All right, let's get this party started. High knees, we're gonna do 30. Drop down, give me eight to 12 diamond push-ups. Immediately after you finish the diamond push-ups, switch to mountain climbers. We're gonna do 15 to 20. Now you can do these either way that I showed you earlier modified or the regular version and we're gonna do squat jumps 12 to 15 and remember to push as hard as you can up as you jump switching right here to lunges to step ups 8 to 12 remember to really drive with that leg as you go up next we're gonna have dips little hiccup right there whoops 
15 to 20 dips. And remember to make this harder the farther your feet go out. And lastly, front raises and side raises, 8 to 12 each movement. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions and remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you know when the next videos are out. Also, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and remember that I have live streams daily at twitch.tv slash gamersfitnessgroup. And this is Nabori and I'll catch you guys later.